there, my name's Holly and welcome back to, or welcome to, if it's your first time, my channel. Uh, today I've got a couple things to talk about. First one is that I mounted a front receiver hitch on the marshmallow so that I could carry the spare tire. So I put a front receiver hitch on the marshmallow so that I could connect. Hold on, let me grab it. This, which is for the spare tire, which currently I don't even have one. Yes, that's right. I've been driving around without a spare. Um, because the 4350 does not have any sort of mount for the spare, like underneath or anything like that. It was just always meant to be kept in the van. And obviously I don't want to keep it in the van. So I mounted a front receiver hitch, which was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult and therefore I didn't bother filming it. And now after the fact, I probably should have because it was actually pretty easy. Um, but because it's really easy, it's not like you need a film to know how to do it, right? Um, basically there's a hole on each side on the on the i-beams that is already big enough there's another hole that's already there but it's not big enough you have to just drill it out to half an inch and then you bolt the whole thing on that's it it was that easy um i did have to take the bumper off there's supposed to be places that are large enough to put the bolts through but on my van there was not um so i had to take the bumper off and taking the bumper off was actually the hardest part of it all only because I had to break the bolts. Um, and that process, I got pretty bruised up. There we go. I was going to film a video today of something I ordered back in August of 2020 and it's still in the box. I still haven't even opened it. Um, but it is actually just starting to rain so I'm not going to bother with that. We are It's April 15th. We are supposed to get 4 to 10 inches of snow tonight. Yay! Winter just continues! <laughs> Anyway, uh, so then that means that all my firewood will be sopping wet for a while, so I'm not sure when I'll actually find to get to film this video because I need firewood for it. But anyway, all right. So hey there. This video just keeps dragging on and on. Today is April 23rd. 
Uh, I started filming this on April 15th and I believe I stopped because we were getting rain and it was going to turn to snow. So throughout the night on April 15th and through the day on April 16th we got five inches of snow. And then it all melted, went away fairly quickly, like the next two days it was gone uh, because it warmed up quite a bit. And then on April 21st we got another two inches of snow, which is still hanging out here two days later. Um, it, it is dispersing, but not as quickly as I would like it to. Uh, anyway, so sorry for the delay in this video and how long it's taken. And if you watch the Bright video, the Bright video was actually recorded after um, I recorded all this about the receiver hitch. So you may be a bit confused because in the Bright video I talked about the video that I still couldn't film because of the snow. And you probably had no idea what I was talking about because you hadn't seen the video that I took on the 15th talking about the fact that we were going to get snow and that I wouldn't be able to film the video for uh, the thing I bought back in August of 2020. Um, so I still can't film that video. And oh my gosh, my camera's so shaky. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So yeah, I don't know if you can still see these bruises, but there's this one here. Uh, there was a big one here. I don't know if you can, I can't tell if you can see them or not. There's a big one here. And then there was one here and also one here. So yeah, I got pretty banged up, bruised up doing that whole process. Um, and mostly because of how you have to reach your hand in through the front grill and, and then try to maneuver the wrenches.